Okay, so the quest continues. We've actually gained access to Crytek in Frankfurt, Germany. This is going to be a great visit because they're going to let us sit down with some of the artists, some of the developers. We're even going to sit down with Shavat Yerli, the president and CEO of the company. We're going to run some of the code from the new Crisis game that's upcoming on a new Intel Penryn codename processor-based computer. It's going to be an exciting visit, so let's get started. The fastest, probably, consumer machine in the world running arguably the most <laughs> anticipated game of the year crisis. And how do you think the game's looking? Well, to my uh, expectation, it looks great, but uh, I think it could be much better. <laughs> but then again, I'm spoiled, seeing it for three years now. Um, but uh, certainly, I think people will, will like it. And, and how do you think it's looking on the, on the new quad core here? Is it, uh... It's amazing. The performance is amazing. I just see it myself the first time now. <laughs> I mean, uh, this is certainly one of the best platforms to play that game. Probably right now the best platform for sure, and it was in the next Intel. I mean, I'm looking forward to see this game running and running in the future. As you know, Crytek expects the game to live for two years, three years. So if that one's already like, like this, I'm just be even more happy. Obviously, you can make more and more intelligent games uh, with increasing cores and more, uh, I guess, spawning different threads and, and, and increasing AI. Yeah. Just like in CPU technology, multi thread. Uh, CPU architecture mean also means multi-threaded gameplay, mm -hmm. in a sense that you de develop these different story threads. You have physics going on, you have AI going on, you have different story threads going on at the same time. Mm -hmm. AI technologies interplaying. So for us, more CPU means or more cores means more interaction at the AI level, but also at the physics level for sure. Yeah. And that was paired with a strong game design who reads that and uses it for utilizing it into technical gameplay. That's then the sum of a next generation gameplay. CryEngine 2 has been optimized for uh, multi core technology, uh, multi thread technology essentially, uh, same as multi GPU or, or DX10 in the same case. Mm -hmm. From the individual features, we feature first of its kinds in many areas, whether it's character animation, facials, open environments, cinematic effects, depths of field, motion blur. So I barely can name them all actually. There's so many new things we do first in this engine. And if it's some of it, you offers a unique experience where it's bigger than the individual pieces, then we did our job. And I think uh, Crysis does justice to that. All right, so there you have it. An unreleased CPU on probably the world's most eagerly anticipated unreleased game, Crisis. Amazing stuff.